Hi guys, uh, I'm going to go over today how I play my Smidget game. Uh, I have already uploaded some of the information in our Facebook group for you, but just a quick rundown so you can kind of see, I guess, how it's done. Um, so the first thing you want to do is, of course, you want to make sure you have yourself a bunch of smidgets. So I like to keep about 20 smidgets on hand. Uh, I'll keep them in a little bowl or something uh, to be able to pass around at a party. You can get them through sales aid. So they're a set of five for, for $2.50, I think. So they're, they're very cheap. Uh, in each one, I will have already done ahead of time one of each. So one half of them are going to have um, you in a party plus 5,000 topper bucks. And the others will have um, you win a free gift plus a thousand Tupper Bucks. So if they get the thousand Tupper Bucks and a free gift, they get to keep their smidget. That's their prize. Uh, if they win, of course, the party and the five thousand Tupper Bucks, they're going to get to keep their smidget because that's their free gift for dating the party. Plus, then they're um, they're going to get me for a party. All right. So now, before we get into playing the smidget game, um, I'll always just hold it up and say, Does anybody know what this is? Uh, this is the last chance of your party for your guests to be able to earn extra Tupper Bucks. So we want to make sure that we give away all of our Tupper Bucks so that they have a chance to get some prizes at the end. So I'll hold it up and I'll let them ask. And of course, I will say this is our smidget. It is airtight and liquid tight. Um, you know, there's a hundred things that you can do with it. But what are some of the things that you think you could do with it? Now, I have already uploaded a list on our Facebook group with some of the items, 83 of them I think, that you can actually use your smidget for. So that'll give you some ideas to, to help you along with your party. Um, we'll play this for like a few minutes. I'll try and get maybe, you know, 10 or 20 even uh, suggestions. Everybody who makes a suggestion will get an extra thousand dollar topper bucks. And then, then we'll go right on into our party. Uh, so I explained at the beginning of the game that it is a, a game of chance. They don't have to play. Uh, I don't want to feel any pressure into playing. Now, of course, this game is played immediately after I've talked about some of the perks to dating a party. And I'll do another video with those word choices uh, another time. So um, so we've gone over that. They already have it in their head why they want to date a party. They know the importance of their host getting to dating. So they know that that's already the goal. So before we play, I say it's a game of chance. If you absolutely do not want to have a party, then don't play the game. It's pretty, pretty simple. If you're unsure if you want to have a party, then also I suggest play the game and we'll let the smidget tell you if you're ready or not. You know, it'll tell you if you're ready for a party or if it'll say, no, you're not, you're just going to get your free gift. Um, now, I'll walk around the room. I'll take the, the little my little bucket, my little box, and I'll go around the room and I'll ask them, take one, but please don't look. I'll go take one. Please don't look until I've gone to everybody, including the hostess, of course. I let her play as well. Um, and the reason why I don't want them to look, of course, is because I want them to make the decision for themselves, really, if they're going to have a party or not. So once everybody has their smidget, uh, I, I, I will ex sort of explain the game again. That if you absolutely do not want, please, please put your smidget back or pass or, or don't, just don't play. You know, I don't want to feel like you... Um, feel like you're forced or that I've twisted your arm to have a party. So uh, to make sure that I know that you actually want to have a party, I have a little bribe for you. Anybody here who has already decided that they want to have a party or are pretty sure they're going to date one anyway, um, I have 5,000 Tupper Bucks. So I'm going to give you 5,000 Tupper Bucks plus whatever your smidget says. So that means if you were lucky enough to already draw a smidget that said you win a party, now you're going to get 10,000 Tupper Bucks. So do we have anybody who's willing to take my bribe? Now I'll do that because chances are somebody's going to take that bribe. So we already know before we played, we've got one party. So then we'll go ahead and let them all open it up one at a time. And we make a big deal about it. So if they win the gift, I get excited for them say, yay, congratulations, here's your gift. And I give them their thousand dollars topper bucks. Uh, and then we'll go all the way through uh, with the parties. Now I'll ask the host ahead of time to make a mental note because you don't always remember the names. So I'll get her to kind of remember the names at the end for me because... I'm really bad with memory. Um, and we go through. So if they win that they uh, they won a party, I, I say congratulations. I'm so excited. Before we finish up here tonight, make sure you come get your party package from me and um, we'll get you your date set to, to get you started. And it's, it's kind of as simple as that. I usually, usually at least two parties. Uh, if it is a big group of people, so if I have eight or more people, I will say that those two parties for the hostess to get her extra credits need to be home parties. Because that's the goal. We want to be able to go into the home and party. If it is a smaller group, sometimes I'll make the exception and say we can host an online party, but I'll only wait and offer that if I know they're a little hesitant. So you kind of play it by ear and um, and 
go with, with let's go with your gut you want home parties that's where you're making the money that's where you're making the contact so that's obviously where we want to focus on um, but if somebody is absolutely against it and they would really rather do more of an online Facebook type party then we can certainly allow that to happen so I mean that's that's pretty pretty much it so once everybody has opened all their parties of course we go to the end of the party we do our little auction draw some prizes and we're done um,